Jazz. Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer had a very shiny. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Grace, and if you're new here, make sure you click the red subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you end up enjoying it. So in today's video, I will be basically showing you my winter curly hair routine. It's not basically winter, but we don't have winter here, but I use this routine whenever my hair was feeling really dry and brittle. So yeah, let's get into it. So right now I'm just wetting my whole head just to make sure my whole head is like completely saturated, no spot is dry. Then I'm going in with a sulfate shampoo from Feel 5, the extra body one. This is paraben and silicone free and I use this to really clarify my scalp about like twice a month whenever my hair is feeling like it has a lot of buildup because I use non-sulfate shampoos and then I need something to clarify my hair. I need something that will really cleanse my hair once or twice a month. So after that, I'm just rinsing off the sulfate shampoo and then I'm going to use a non-sulfate shampoo and for today's non-sulfate shampoo is the Canvas Beauty Motion Moolah as you will see in a bit. I fell in love with this shampoo. This is like my all-time favorite shampoo because it has so many moisturizing benefits. And I like using this shampoo whenever my hair feels super dry or brittle. And even when my hair doesn't feel dry, I still like using this shampoo. So this is the Canvas Beauty Motion Moolah Shampoo, um, Galore Motion Moolah Shampoo. Um, and this smells really good. It smells kind of like bubblegum, like, like candy. And this really has a slippery consistency, which allows me to detangle my hair with the shampoo, as you guys may or may not know. This shampoo is really amazing, and I'm just putting this all over my scalp and making sure I massage my scalp really well and also I put this all on my hair making sure every part of my hair gets shampoo and then I'm going to start detangling my hair with the shampoo because it does have some slip so after detangling I'm going in and rinsing every single part of my scalp making sure no part has shampoo because if you leave shampoo on your hair it might cause buildup or just it's unhealthy for your roots to leave shampoo on your scalp so I'm making sure all the shampoo is rinsed off my scalp and my hair and then I'm going to use the canvas beauty the pink bottle I forgot the name canvas beauty <laughs> amplifying conditioner this conditioner is my all-time favorite and it has a ridiculous amount of slip this has so much slip and my hair is easily detangled with this conditioner and this conditioner also moisturizes my hair really really good like really good so i'm just taking a good amount of conditioner and placing this on my hair and then i'm going to work it in making sure every single strand is covered with this conditioner so it can have all the moisturizing benefits and I'm going in with my flexi detangling brush to make sure even all my hair um, has this conditioner because even when you distribute conditioner with your hand not all parts can get it so that is why I'm going in with a brush to make sure everything has conditioner and as you guys can see my hair is just moisturized the brush just glides in and this really de defines my curls so now I'm just rinsing the conditioner off and my hair feels super silky already. Whenever my hair feels super dry, I just really go to this conditioner. This conditioner really, it really does it for me. It really moisturizes my hair instantly and yeah. So after conditioning, I deep condition. Deep conditioning is very essential. Normally I just shampoo and then deep condition, but when my hair is feeling super dry, I use um, a shampoo, conditioner, and deep conditioner. This way I can get extra moisture. And the deep conditioner of choice I'm using today is the Cantu Deep Treatment. And I'm just taking a big glob of this and working this through my hair. And I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for about 20 minutes and then rinse it out. This deep conditioner really makes my hair feel super silky and moisturized and instantly revives my hair. So I'm just tying my hair up 
and placing it in a bun. So after letting it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes, I go ahead and rinse all of it out. Make sure you leave nothing behind. I do leave like 10% behind, but leaving a deep conditioner behind in, in your hair, like a lot of deep conditioner is not healthy for your hair. So that is why I do leave some in like 10%, but not more than that. So yeah. And for my styling products, I'm going to use the Diva Curl Super Stretch and the Eco Styler Gel. I love using a gel for my wash and goes just to really lock in all the moisture and everything. And the trick I do for my wash and go when my hair is feeling dry as I will show you guys right now. So I'm adding the Super Stretch to my hair, like on damp hair. I love doing my wash and goes in the shower at home because I really save up time. So after that, I'm just taking a good amount of gel and I'm going to work all of that in. And as you guys may see, while I'm working in in sections, I take some water for each section and then working in. So in this way, um, I really distribute everything and it makes the hair even more slippery. And this way, my hair, I don't know what it is, but it, my hair really soaks up the product even better if I do it like this. So like the cream, gel, and while I, while I style it, I take some water and rake it through. So as you guys may see here, I turn it on and take some water from the hose and rake it through the section. So yeah, this is what I'm going to do for all the pieces of my hair. And a tip, do not leave your hose or your shower open or on, I don't know what you call it, but do not leave your shower on because you do not want to waste water. You can also use this method outside the shower. So you can use like a spray bottle when you go to each section, but I found it easier to just do it in the shower so I can just wash my hands immediately and my spray bottle doesn't have any gel or product on it. And in this way, my curls are even more defined and look even more juicy. When I style it like this, you can style it with any product. It doesn't have to specifically be the Diva Curl product and the Eco Styler. I definitely like the Eco Styler, but the Eco Styler doesn't really mix with all my leave-ins. But yeah, look how beautiful, moisturized, juicy my hair is looking. My hair is really defined in this method. So yeah, I really love this method. And I don't know how this filter got on this video. I can't really take it off, but <laughs> these are my curls after they look defined, moisturized. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.